Hey, this is Mr. Alien Freak 49, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to root your LG Optimus S. Uh, this should work with other phones too, Android phones. But yeah, I know there's not a lot of videos out there, easy ways to root your LG Optimus S, but I'm going to show you one quick, one click way. I do know how to do it the hard way, but you know that's the hard way and I don't really want to do it that way so I'll show you how to do it the one click way here so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go into the market let your market load up and then you're gonna type in Astro that's A S T A S A S T R O and then you should see Astro File Manager. Sorry. Astro File Manager, the first one right there. And then that'll bring up that. And you're just going to click this one right here. And eh, crap, this one. The one that says Astro File Manager. You want to click that one. And I already have it installed. So, I already have it installed here. So I'm just going to open it up, but once you get that downloaded, uh, that's what it looks like. You just, I'll explain that one later, alright. Then you want to go into your web browser, uh, browser, right here, or whatever, you might have Dolphin or whatever they call it, but, and then you're going to want to go to, it's called, four, the number, like the number four, and then S or shared S H A R E D dot com. And that's what that'll look like as soon as my stupid camera gets better. But that's what that'll look like for shared dot com. And then this little search search bar. There we go. In the search bar up there, you're going to want to type in Ginger Break. That's G I N G E R B E A B E A K E. Just Ginger Break. And then you're going to put a period, dot, and then A P K. So that's what it'll look like gingerbreak.apk and then you're just gonna go search it and and then they have all kinds of versions on here they have all kinds of versions on here now if you're gonna take uh, they have 1.10, they have 1.20 and 1.30. I'm going to use the 1.20 just because I like it and it works good and I know how to use it. And I've never, I think I tried to the 1.30 the one time and I didn't like it. But I already have it downloaded, but that's what, it'll, that's what your screen will look like. You'll have to wait like 15 or 20 seconds to download it and then you'll just see then you'll just be a little thing on there that says download it says click here to download file and then after you got that downloaded you're gonna wanna go into your Astro your Astro file manager and then you're gonna hit file manager right there uh, being slow alright and then you do have to have an SD card for this and then you're just gonna go into your downloads folder there right over here right over here your downloads folder and then you'll see ginger break and whatever uh, version you downloaded mine I downloaded 1.20 and just click on that and then you're just gonna 
then you're just going to want to hit install which will be the bottom one here I'm not going to do it I guess I'm going to do it again no uh, cancel that anyways you're going to want to hit install which will be the bottom one sorry I'm trying to there you go then it, once you get it downloaded installed then you're going to want to go to bra open file manager the middle one open file manager and that's what will pop up and then you just want to hit launch just hit launch and that's what will come up and then it'll just it just says please make sure of the following before rooting you have an SD card inserted and mounted and USB debugging enabled and I'll show you how to enable USB debugging too alright you just want to go into your settings your settings and then you just want to go over to applications and then down to developing and then you'll see USB debugging right there with the little ticker box make sure that's checked and then after you know that that's checked and another thing you probably have to do before you download uh, the APK file you're probably gonna have to go back to where I just told you settings applications and then you're gonna wanna have the unknown sources ticker box checked this one right here you're gonna have to have that one checked too to download it but your phone will tell you how to your phone will tell you that once once again once you're in there I'm gonna open this back up real quick Yeah, I just launched it and just close out that box and then you'll see uh you'll see gingerbreak v1.2 and you'll see root device and then unroot device but I I just unrooted mine so I can show you but and then you just want to going to want to click root device just like that and it's going to it's just it says rooting and executing and all that and your phone I think it restarts after you root it but oh yeah I like my new antenna I'll let my antenna on my inside of my phone must have quit working or something because I couldn't get any signal or anything so I built a custom antenna out of paper clips and it actually works it gives me good signal and my phone just restarted there and then I'll just show you that it is rooted because I'll show you the super user app which I forgot to show you that wasn't there before but it wasn't I'll show you the super user app and the on route things checked now anyways my phone's not being the fastest right now I'm getting ready to flash a custom ROM on it here soon but I'll wait for it to load up here. Sorry this is taking forever. I don't know why my phone takes this long to turn freaking on. It used to be fast. Now it's slow. Oh my god. It must be just because I just rooted it. There it went. Alright, and I'm just going to unlock it. And, and then I'll show you I got my super user app. right here super user right between sprint zone and talk ah shit anyways you click on super user and y'all it should say no apps right now but 
once you start getting some apps that require root access, it'll just pop right up. Like, I'll go get into one real quick. Uh, I have one here. And it'll ask for... Hmm, didn't. You'll find a different one then. There we go. That's what'll pop up. It'll say super user request and just give you all the info and then you just got to click. Well, mine just says abort because I don't have the right application on my phone. But anyways, you can, there's an allow and a deny button and just hit allow and it'll say super user access granted. So anyways, that's a real fast and easy way to root your phone there, your LG Optimus S and I mean, I haven't really tried it on any other phones. I've tried it on a Samsung, a chintzy little Samsung phone that my dad has. Didn't work. It just rebooted itself and didn't have super user or anything. But anyways, that's how you root your LG Optimus S fairly quickly and easily instead of having to go through all the hard way. Sucks. Well... Mr. Alien Freak, see ya.